So as of now, there is an online petition with about 61,000 signatures. And all of that is to remove a statue of former NFL player Ray Lewis after he knelt at an NFL game. He is a former Baltimore Raven. So here's what's happening. The petition on, on change.org was started by Eric Moniodis of Hydes. He wrote to kneel during the national anthem is disrespectful regardless of what you are protesting. I will not stand for that kind of disrespect towards our country, especially from a legend such as Ray Lewis. But the plot sort of thickens because Ray Lewis says, hey, I was kneeling, but I wasn't protesting. This is what he said. He said on Inside the NFL that he went down on both knees to simply honor God in the midst of chaos. Lewis told 105.7, I'm not in the protesting business. So he's saying that he was praying, he wasn't protesting, that's what was going down. And the plot thickens even further because according to the Baltimore Sun, extra security has been added near the Lewis statue to prevent anything happening to it. What the hell? What is going on? What the hell is happening? So this is gonna come off as incredibly aggressive, but it, it must be said. Um, for the military members that are offended by someone simply kneeling during the national anthem, it's like, do you call liberal snowflakes? I'm just asking, right? Because like, do we spend hundreds of billions of dollars on the military every year so no one ever offends you or hurts your feelings? And why does it hurt your feeling when someone is practicing their First Amendment right in literally the mildest way imaginable? They don't like it when you know people take to the streets to protest. They don't like it when someone's peacefully protesting, you know, kneeling during the national anthem. Like, let's just. Can we move on? It's it's a form of expression that's protected by the Constitution. Now, obviously, this guy who has this petition is a, you know a private citizen. It's not the government taking action against Ray Lewis. But by the way, Ray Lewis, really, you were praying? I mean, sure. Maybe. Yes, I believe that Ray Lewis would say I was praying. Like knowledge of Ray Lewis as a media figure. Yes, he absolutely. Was like, I was actually praying. Like he gets but really he believes, intense. But he's very intense. He, okay. And didn't he kill a guy? Like anyone? Like, well, I believe isn't that to like but not kill you, a guy, but he, maybe he kill a guy. Obstruction he, of justice claimed yeah. around two murders. Like that's the thing about Ray. He pled guilty to an obstruction of justice charge in a case involving two murders. But he said, "I'm sorry," and he found the Lord. Like I believe, like that is Ray Lewis. Like I found God, but and I'm back. Do you believe that he was pr actually yes. praying, or was it an excuse to kind of like? I believe that Ray Lewis was praying. Yes, okay. like it, but it, it's not important whether I believe it or not. To get, to, I think to your point, like, yeah. but like, I believe Ray Lewis was like, I was just there to fix everything because I'm Ray Lewis. Like, as someone who watches football, and follows a game, and sees Ray Lewis on the sideline and doing his his like media appearances, but I just like how crazy, like, part Mobius strip, part part MC Escher painting. This is all turned into where it's like. It's like things just pro. There's the initial protesters and people protesting the protesters. But am I protesting? But I'm not protesting people who are kneeling. I'm rather kneeling to protest people who are upset about protesting. This but is even so, not this that. is it's honestly so, the most ridiculous. Okay, um, and and it's come on. Isn't it kind of interesting that they're fighting to have a statue taken down because they didn't like but someone I, practicing their First Amendment rights? I don't doubt that that <laughs> is exactly there. Just as as aware of how ironic that is, and they're using that. Your like, government is sending soldiers to preemptive wars and risking their lives, okay? US soldiers, US military members are dying so private contractors can get rich. That is offensive, okay? You wanna sign a petition, sign that petition. You care about our soldiers? That's what you should care about, right? Instead, you're twiddling your thumbs and, and getting petitions out there over Ray Lewis kneeling during an NFL game. Get your priorities straight, okay? Mm -hmm. I get it, it offends you. And if it offends you, that's fine. But you getting offended is not something that's protected by the Constitution, okay? But one thing that you should do and be concerned about is the fact that our leaders, both Democrats and Republicans, this is not an ideological thing, continuously support war efforts that put our soldiers in harm's way. And they sell you this BS about spreading democracy, but they don't care about democracy. They escalate wars in other countries simply because private contractors stand to make millions of dollars, okay? That is offensive, that's what infuriates me. Mm -hmm. I actually care about our soldiers. I wanna do something to ensure that we're not risking their lives so others can make money off of them. But hey, you know what, we're distracted by the NFL, so let's focus on that.
Yeah, I watched I watched football with someone who just like has canceled their football subscription, and they were at a like a, an event where the football was on. It wasn't like they came to like get around this boycott. Like they came because they wanted to be there, but football was on, and it was like I believe that this person is angry at football players because this person loves America. What I can't wrap my mind around is how you can't just go read, you know, the one of the original kneelers, the guy who knelt with Colin Kaepernick. You can't just go read his column in the New York Times where he says exactly why he didn't he learned he shouldn't be sitting. Instead, he talked to a green beret and said what's the most respectful way I can, you know, essentially present myself at half mast, the way we put the, the flag itself at half mast mm -hmm. when there's a national tragedy, because I think there's a national tragedy that needs to have some kind of attention brought to it. And he lays out the entire reason and how he consulted with people and didn't want to be offensive. So at that point, and this was said on Sports Center by Scott Van Pelt, like if you're mad at that, if you're mad at the Cowboys who knelt before the national anthem, and this is Scott Van Pelt saying, you just want to be mad. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's it. And if if you can look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, "It's not, I'm not mad about something else," then we can have the next part of the conversation. But as more time passes, as we have a longer dialogue, as we see sir, like the president reescalate this thing that was almost a non-issue again, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and, and we're seeing that too from Ray Lewis as well, because he wasn't participating in either side, but yet he becomes a news story because he's sort of pussyfooting around where he wants to land on this issue. And I think you make an excellent point, Brett, that we need to remember why players started kneeling in the first place mm -hmm. and how this began, it, not the distraction that Donald Trump has turned it out to be on Twitter. And I think more and more we move away from that. And this is an example of that, of Ray Lewis saying, "Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't protesting, I'm not in the protesting business. I was praying, like, then shut the fuck up, don't go. Don't do anything, pray, right. you can pray any other time in the game that you want. But during the national anthem, a lot of NFL players are making a stand. So either kneel with them or don't, don't. No oh, one asked and, you to pray then. And I just, well, by the way, we gotta go to break. Yeah. Uh, but I, I really wanna get this one last point out. Um, just the intellectual dishonesty by people on the right when it comes to this issue, right? The same people who claim that they are in favor of free speech, they will fight for free speech, are the same people in their little YouTube shows that uh, talk about, oh, we can't have politics in, in football. No, no, no politics in football. Oh, what happened? I thought that you were, you know, an advocate for free speech. Apparently, you don't like this particular type of speech, so you're going to go ahead and condemn it because you don't want politics and entertainment, right? Um, and then also, people like. Tommy Lauren, I hate bringing her up. She does things for attention, it's clear. But think about the uh, dishonesty of someone like Tommy Lauren, who's been so critical of these players. What did she say when she was on The View and supported reproductive rights? Um, I, I believe in the Constitution. I'm a constitutionalist. Oh, really? You're a constitutionalist? Then why don't you value the First Amendment, which is exactly what these players are exercising when they kneel during the national anthem? You, but you don't like that type of speech. So, Constitution doesn't matter when it comes to something that questions your ideology or questions your values. So it's just, it's frustrating and it just shows you the hypocrisy on that issue. And by the way, when it comes to free speech, I'm gonna go ahead and say that we've been incredibly consistent, okay? Ann Coulter wants to go speak at Berkeley, do you boo? And Ben Shapiro, <laughs> do you boo? Any person who wants to go speak at Berkeley, as long as you're not inciting violence, which is not protected by the First Amendment, do you. I will support you even if I disagree with your ideology. But they will never turn around and be consistent when it comes to someone on the left or someone with a different ideology practicing their First Amendment right. TYT membership gets you commercial free Young Turks, Download it, stream it, podcast it, get all the network shows, and support independent media. TYTnetwork.com slash join.